Alright, thanks for watching. And today I would like to play a little game with you. Because math is fun. Um, namely, suppose I am a function from 2 by 2 matrices to the real numbers. And I satisfy the following properties. First of all, my value at 1, 0, 0, 1, it's 1. So the value of delta at the identity matrix is 1. And if two rows of your matrix are equal, like A, B, A, B, then the value is 0. And lastly, delta is linear in each row. So in other words, if you do delta of, let's say, A plus A prime, B plus, sorry, I guess A plus K A prime, and B plus KB prime, and CD, that is the same thing as delta of ABCD plus K times delta of A prime, B prime, CD. In other words, suppose it's linear in the first row, and it's also linear in the second row. So delta of AB c plus kc prime d plus kd prime is equal to delta of a b c d plus k times delta a b c prime d prime so suppose it's what's called multilinear which means linear in each row separately the question is, suppose I am this mystery function and I satisfy those three properties, who am I? And we'll see a very familiar friend comes from, out from that. And just one little remark though, um, this thing can be generalized to n by n matrices, but not, not in this way. So we're using a different way, which I might make a video on. All right, well, let's figure out what our delta is. So delta of A, B, C, D. So here's the thing. This is linear in the first row. And moreover, what do we know? We know that uh, A, B, C, D is delta of A times 1, 0 plus B times 0, 1, C, D. So A and B are constants, and therefore by multilinearity, so by property 3, this is just the same as A times delta of 1, 0, C, D, plus B times delta of 0, 1, C, D. But this just means, this notation just means A of delta 1, 0, C, D, plus B of delta 0, 1, C, D. And well, we had so much fun with this. Let's just do it again. Well, C, D, that is, not D, V, D, but C, D, that is 1, 0, C times 1, 0, plus D times 0, 1, and B times delta of 0, 1, C times 1, 0, plus d times 0, 1. So let's just use multilinearity again. And what we get is, so a times c delta of 1, 0, 1, 0, plus d times delta of 1, 0, 0, 1, and plus b times delta, sorry, b times C times delta of 0, 1, 1, 0, plus D times delta of uh, 0, 1, 0, 1. That is B. Okay, it looks horrible, but it's not too bad, because what do we know? Notice those two rows are identical. So by definition, so I think by property 2, we know this thing is 0. 
Moreover, this is delta at the identity, which we know is one. And also here, we have two identical rows. So this is zero. And what we're left with so far, so this is by um, one and two. We're left with AD plus BC times delta of zero, one, one, zero. But how do you evaluate that? There's actually a neat trick. Consider the following, delta of one, 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 one. Those are two identical rows, so this is zero. On the other hand, this is delta of, I guess, a one times one, zero, plus one times zero, one, and then one, one. By linearity, this is one times delta of one, zero, one, one, plus one times delta of zero, one, one, one. That is then, so delta of, again, one, zero, and then, you know, uh, one, zero, plus zero, one, plus delta of zero, one, and then one, zero, plus zero, one. And then again, use multilinearity. This gives us delta of one, zero, one, zero, plus delta of uh, one, zero, zero, one, plus delta of zero, one, one, zero, plus delta of zero, one, zero, one. Now, it looks horrible, but a lot of stuff simplifies. So we know this whole gibberish is zero, but this one has two identical rows, so it's zero. This one, it's the identity, so delta of the identity, which is one. This is what we want to find. And this has two identical rows, so it's zero. So what do we have? One to find plus one is zero. So one to find is minus one. So delta of zero, one, one, zero equals minus one. And then let's plug it into here. So what do, do we want to find? So it's delta of A, B, C, D. It's AD plus BC times this junk, which is minus one. So it's AD minus BC. And what is that? It's precisely the determinant of ABCD. So delta of ABCD is the determinant of ABCD. So what, who am I? What is delta? It's just the determinant. And therefore, we have found a complete characterization of the determinant. It's just any function which is one at the identity, whose, uh, which is zero at equal rows, and which is multilinear. So using just those three properties, we can recover the determinant. And the cool thing is, this is also true in higher dimensions, but with a different technique. All right. I hope you like this little math puzzle and you want to see more. And if you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and to ring the bell. Ling ling. Thank you.